welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a test of these batteries that I purchased from AliExpress. These were labeled as 320 amp hour batteries. Again, it's in Chinese. I've been in contact with the seller of these batteries. I want to show you one thing too about, I want to show you this. This is the bus bars. I like the bend in the bus bars, but look how thin that is. That is very, very thin bus bars. It is copper. And it's pro, <laughs> maybe designed for 30 amps or pretty darn thin. Nothing like the um, other batteries that I've ordered from AliExpress, which never come into the rated capacity, but not like these batteries. These batteries claim to be 300 and um, 20 amp hours, and my experience has showed me that there's 179. They're only 55 millimeters wide. I've got two of them here. I kind of label them 15, 16. This is be the sixth test that I've done. What I've done is I've set my uh, ZTEC. These things are very good chargers, constant voltage. I've set it to 3.65 and it'll cut off when it gets to one amp hour one amp so i've got it set for 20 amps and so this is going to be test number for number battery number 16 push this button hold it down and the charge is whoop, push this button here uh, right now the batteries are setting at 3.336 and I have charged these already up to 3.45 at 1 amp. So here we go for this one. Now, I also have another ZTEC over here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I've got to set it for 20 amps. 3.65. Hold that down. And now this one's at 3.338. And this is to number 15 battery. I think I labeled right here. And we'll turn this on. And it'll go through the charging technique. Now this might take a little while, but I think these batteries are basically pretty much fully charged, at least 95%. Now let's look at this. Here's the QR code. And this is the one that's put on after. So, uh, also in the kit, if I can open this kit up here, these come with these kind of uh, things on the top of the six millimeter uh, laser welded bolts that come with the uh, batteries. This is the package that comes with it. And this little wrench right here, <laughs> it must be set to torque. It'll mess up if you try to over torque it, but it comes with these washers, which uh, I would think that I would come with copper washers and not these are the standard six millimeter bolts. I wanted to give you the measurements of uh, these bus bars. 0.76 millimeter very very thin as I mentioned I do like that they have uh, heat shrink in the middle and it's bent in case you're gonna have some expansion and I noticed that that as I've uh, charged these up there has been some expansion in the batteries as again I charged all of them up and when these are discharged I'll put them back to 3.45 at 1 amps to match the top balance of all the other ones cell number 15 has already kicked off so it only took uh, less than one amp hour to fully charge this battery up. So I'm going to let this set and we are going to do a discharge test with the ZTEC. This is a 40 amp unit. Now this one here 
it's still charging at 1.68 amp, 67 now, and a little over one amp hour we're getting out of this. So I'll let this set for just a little bit before I do a discharge test with this ZTEC battery tester. These are very accurate, but I'm going to use two different types. I have the other one sitting over here, and that way we won't be biased to the ZTEC charger. But these ZTEC chargers are very quite accurate. So this is getting close to being shut off. A little over one amp hour going into our number 16 battery in the back here. Just to show you, I'm going to set this up on the ZTEC. Pull this down. This is a discharge test right here. And so what I'm going to do is take it down to push that button right there. Take it down to 2.5 As it says, you know, notice right here, if, if I could read Chinese, it says 2.5. Okay. Changing this. want to be consistent and just hold down our set button here until we come to this part right here it shows that it's dropped down to 3.609 and so again this is for test of this first battery right here number 15 and we are going to start the tests this will take a little while. So you can see I've got it's, it's discharging right now a little over 20 amps. And this is going to take a little while for the Z-Tech. Now this one right here is almost there. kind of see it clicking down because at 3.45 at one amp it's going to be between 95 and 90 99 percent fully charged and right now battery number 15 which is on the ztec is charging at 28.86 amps and i said like, hey it'll take a while for this to get done now this let's see if i can do this I am going to just want to point out this is in amp hours, this so is three point almost three point five right now. And this is a timer. And we've been discharging for seven minutes on this particular one. So we will watch it. It'll probably take about four hours we'll see the ztech is done discharging this battery right here which is number 15 and we got 177.8 so far out of well that's all we're going to get now i'm going to charge it back up to 3.45 so battery number 16 is fully charged again as you see right there and now I'm going to do a capacity test. Number 16 was just fully charged with the ZTEC here that um, I found quite handy to have uh, this nice charger. I made the mistake of not resetting this. So I'm running this test again. This is A-Torch uh, DL24P. I'm going to bring it down to 2.5. The timer set at 15 hours, 34 minutes. Not that it'll take that long. 
Uh, need to set capacity. Okay. I'm going to set for 20 amps. Discharge, and we will begin now. Now this is going <laughs> to, this will take a while for this to discharge. But as you can see, I do not, this has been reset. And so here we go again. And here is the final test of the ATORCH DL24P on battery number 16. 177 amp hours. Thanks for watching.